Hello and welcome. This is World of Wastewater. This is part seven of a series going over a wastewater exam, which you can find a link to in the description below. If you're following along, these questions are numbers 31 through 35. If you can no longer enjoy rainy days because you're too busy checking the flow at your treatment plant, hit the like button and subscribe. With that said, let's get started. Upon routine inspection of a centrifugal pump, it is noted that the bearings are excessively hot. The likely cause is A. Worn impeller B. Speed too slow C. Worn packing D. Over lubrication The answer is D. Over lubrication. Over lubrication can lead to high operating temperatures, higher costs due to wasted grease, collapsed seals, and in the case of greased electric motors, energy loss and failures. The best way to avoid these problems is to establish a maintenance program and follow the operating and maintenance manual of the motor or instrument. What is the purpose of heating and mixing a primary anaerobic digester? A. To prevent grit from settling to the bottom of the digester. B. To eliminate all oxygen present. C. To keep methane gas in suspension. D. To increase the reaction rate. The answer is D, to increase the reaction rate. Proper heating and mixing is vital to increasing the biological reaction rate of a primary anaerobic digester. The digester should be heated and kept at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The distribution of heat is further improved by mixing the contents along with preventing solids from depositing on the floor, which decreases the total volume within the digester. Read the following information concerning the condition of a gas chlorinator and determine the cause of the problem. Feed rate response sluggish, maximum feed rate not being reached, injector water low at high feed rate, injector water supply pressure normal, injector vacuum stays low with low feed rate. A. Vacuum loss. B. Injector clogged. C. Feed rate indicator clogged. D. Clogged supply line. The answer is B. Injector clogged. In this question, the issues described are inherent to that of an injector clog because higher feed rates cannot be achieved even though water pressure is normal and the system works when the feed rate is low. No information is given on whether there's an issue with the supply line, which would be determined with a pressure regulator. Chlorine gas usage is not as common nowadays given the potential for danger associated with it. However, questions about it may still appear on your exams. For more information on chlorine gas maintenance, I've provided two useful links in the description. What action should be performed if there are streaks of sludge on the belt filter press? A. Increase the sludge feed rate. B. Increase the polymer feed rate. C. Wipe better next time. D. Clean the wash box nozzles. The answer is D. Clean the wash box nozzles. Every belt filter press is equipped with nozzles that continually spray water onto the filter cloth. On a belt filter press, these nozzles are located after sludge cake has been removed but before more sludge is applied. This keeps residual sludge and polymer from sticking to the filter cloth. If improper washing of the filter cloth occurs, streaks will appear and then dry, which will make the cloth less porous, allowing less water to be removed from the sludge. This leads to a sludge cake product with a lower percentage of solids. The actual output of a pump motor is referred to as A. Water horsepower B. Velocity head C. Wire horsepower D. Brake horsepower The answer is D. Brake horsepower no pump can convert all its mechanical power into water power. This is due to friction losses in the bearings, water friction itself, and recirculation within the pump. To compensate for those losses, horsepower going into the pump shaft must be greater than the water horsepower leaving the pump. 
These additional power losses define the total brake horsepower requirement, BHP, at the pump shaft. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out the others on this channel. If you want to help us make more great content for operators, there's a link to the World of Wastewater PayPal in the description. See you next time on World of Wastewater. Water.